Hey, what's up guys? Polecat here. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. And today I have the entire geek situation. Now I have all the info and I have both sides of the story, okay? Obviously we already had crypto side, but now I have geek side. But I'm going to recap and tell all of it in one video so there's no questions and everything is known. And uh, I'm also going to be stating my opinion on it. And I'm going to be giving you guys all the info in both sides so you guys can go ahead and make your own, you know, justified and well-informed opinions on this topic as well. So to start off, about a week and a half ago, Geek decided he didn't want to be on show anymore. He decided he was done, and he decided he was going to sell his account. And he sold his account to CryptoGlitz for $100, okay? And I guess what ended up happening was CryptoGlitz went out and bought Geek a $100 Google Play card, and Geek accepted that as currency. He just wanted a $100, you know, Google Play card. And so that's what they did. That was the deal. is a $100 Google Play card and CryptoGlitz the account. And the transaction was good. It was a complete, you know, 100% you know, perfect transaction, Crypto got the account, Geek got his card, everyone was happy, right? There was no problems. Then, about four or five days after the transaction, I'm sure most of you guys saw my other video, John Police hacked the account back for Geek, okay? So I guess Geek wanted the account back, and he had John recover it for him right here. Um, he had John recover the account for him, and uh, as you guys can see from this screenshot here, John took back the account, it says John Police was here, and he changed the name back to The Geek. So Geek decided he wanted the account back, and he had John go and get the account back for him, okay? And uh, most of this time, I'll, you know, like I'm sure a lot of you guys saw on streams, Geek was saying, you know, if I want the account back, I can get it back, blah, 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 whatever. Obviously, sitting he can always get it back when he wanted, and so he did end up taking it back. Now, obviously, the problem with this is Crypto didn't want to give Geek the account back, right? He obviously paid Geek $100 for the account, so he either gets to keep the account, right? He obviously didn't want to give it up. He obviously wanted the account if he paid $100 for it, or he needs to get his money back. And what ended up happening is, you know, Geek didn't say, you know, I'm going to give your money back or anything like that. He just took the account back and didn't really say much. And Crypto was very upset because he basically got scammed out of $100, right? You know, he buys his account for $100. The guy takes it back, you know, forcefully. He doesn't even, you know, ask to get it back. To be honest in my opinion i'm just gonna add my opinion in right here i don't think what they did was right i think he bought the account so if he was going to give it back you need his permission for you to be able to get it back you know you can't just take something back just because it used to be yours you know if you sell it you know tough luck you know it's not yours anymore so he's very very lucky that he ended up getting it back so he just needs to know that you know he's lucky he got it back because if it was me and other people said this too you know if i was the one who bought that account shit dude you're not getting that back i paid my money for that and there ain't no way you're getting it back but he ended up getting it back and the problem was is he didn't pay crypto the money back right and so now crypto you know doesn't have his money and he doesn't have the account now at this time geek had not offered crypto any money okay at the time geek had been completely quiet he posted nothing about this on twitter multiple people asked him what was going on he was staying completely silent about the situation he was completely and purposely ignoring all questions and interactions involving the situation right and this led people to believe that geek was a scammer because he had not you know, offered crypto any money, he had taken the account back, and obviously all the account information was changed to the geek, and crypto was kind of left in the dark here without his, without his account and without his hundred dollars. So now finally, I asked Geek multiple times to, you know, show us proof of these things because, you know, Geek ended up saying that, you know, he did offer Crypto the money and he did do this and he did do that and he was denying most everything people were saying about him. If you guys were in a lot of streams where Geek was in, you know, he was saying, oh, you know, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, I have proof, I'm right, right? He kept saying he had proof, but he was not showing anyone. Well, he finally ended up showing me some proof. I don't know why he decided to wait so long. He literally could have just sent me some proof because I asked him multiple times previously and a lot of you know that. A lot of you saw me ask him. He finally sent him some proof i'm not sure when he said this i think he said this a couple days after the whole incident where he finally offers crypto his money back and he is actually going to end up paying crypto back supposedly obviously he has not paid him back yet i think he's gonna you know he's waiting to get paid or something but he is going to be paying crypto back apparently and here are the you know uh, the screenshots of that all right guys now obviously you can see here it says he's giving him the money back and he offered it and crypto is going to be getting his money back apparently like i said this hasn't happened yet he hasn't paid him back yet but the deal is right now that is that, you know, he is going to be paying him back. That's what's worked out right now. Obviously, he needs some time to get the money, but it does look like he's going to end up paying him back. Okay, now we know Geek's side of the story, and now we know that Geek is actually going to be ending, you know, end up paying him back. Apparently, like I said, apparently, it hasn't happened yet, but the plan is that he's going to be paying crypto back. Now that we know all of this, what is what is my opinion on this? Well, guys, to be honest, I think what Geek did is pretty fucked up, I'm not going to lie. I think it is good he's going to be paying him back, but, like, okay, here's the thing that I think, alright? 
he sold his account, right? When you trade something or when you sell something, it's not yours anymore, no matter what. You know, it's not yours. It's like being on the playground and giving, you know, someone else your ball and then saying, you know, oh, I want my ball back. It used to be mine. It doesn't work like that. You know, if you give something away or you sell something, it is not yours anymore. And if for whatever reason you want it back, you can ask to have it back. And if that person doesn't want to give it back, then there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you're not obligated to go take it back because it's not yours anymore. You know, you sold your followers for $100. That's not your account anymore. That Those are not your followers, you know. Just because it used to be yours and you built all of it up doesn't mean it's yours anymore. You sold it for $100. So the fact that he kind of forcefully took it back, I think is pretty fucked up, honestly. Because, you know, he sold it. It's not his anymore. He obviously didn't care. He sold his account for, you know, $100. So I'm not sure why he thinks he can just take it back forcefully. Obviously, if he asked Crypto to have it back and Crypto was more than happy to give it back to him, you know, that's fine by me. Because, obviously, Crypto bought it. If he's okay with giving it back, that's all right. But just the fact that you forcefully took it back, I think it's pretty fucked up. And the fact that you just sold your account in general, I think, is really fucked up. Because, like, I would never sell my account. I would not sell my followers for $100. Okay, guys, at the end of the day, is Geek a scammer? No. You know, he it, apparently, what it looks like here, it looks like he is going to be paying crypto back, so he's not a scammer. If he doesn't pay crypto back, he is a scammer. So as of now, just let him be. Don't go out and witch hunt him. Just let him do his thing. Give him some time to pay him back. If he doesn't end up paying crypto back, then he is a scammer. Obviously, what I think he did is pretty fucked up. And I think it's morally wrong. But was what he did bad? Not really. But, you know, when it comes to being morally wrong, I do believe it was bad. So if you, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully, if you had any questions about the situation, they're all answered now. If you still have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them for you. If you have any questions about the situation. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I will see you guys later. Peace.